Hi dear friends, this is Tatiana and if you are roughly my age then you probably remember playing one of the first tile matching arcade games called Puzzle Bubble, where the objective is to clear all the bubbles from the arena before any of the bubbles cross the bottom line. You remove them by shooting identically colored bubbles forming groups of three or more and you play as these unbelievably cute dinos, which I'm sure were one of the major reasons for this game's huge success. I got to admit, I played this game an unhealthy amount of time time back in the day, so you can imagine my exhilaration when I've learned that Puzzle Bubble has made its way into VR and is being released today in Oculus Quest Store. Puzzle Bubble Vacation Odyssey features the first-person movement-based slingshot-like shooting in a timeless bubble-popping puzzle game. It features three gaming modes, a variety of puzzles, bonuses, power-ups, easter eggs, and of course your super cute dino helpers. With its playful energy, bright colors, and very intuitive controls, your position in the game is static, so you can play even while sitting down and it won't cause any motion sickness. But that's not all. In collaboration with Virtual Athletics League, the Puzzle Bubble team has generously sponsored the Gleam Contest with the grand prize Oculus Quest 2. Simply follow the link to the Gleam Contest and do as many actions listed there as you can to increase your chances to win the grand prize. I really can't wait to show this game to you. So if you're ready, let's go! Here we are in the world of Puzzle Bubble. I have this cute dino hands or dino paws. This is very cute. And, and what the heck is this? <laughs> Am I going to kill someone? Looks like I'm on some kind of tropical island. When we start the puzzle bubble in VR, we get to choose one of the three modes to play, Jewel, Story, and Infinite. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really play Jewel now because this is a early access to the version, which will be released on Thursday, so I'm playing it just a little bit earlier. And normally you will be able to quick match with someone uh, from the internet or play locally with your friends or online with your friends. We have a Story and Infinite version. Let's start with the very first level of the story, so you will go level by level and it will get progressively more difficult. Every level in this game has some kind of objective and in this one we need to pop all the bubbles within 15 shots. We have the shots here, we have 15 bubbles left and we have this giant uh, cannon. <laughs> all right. Oh, <laughs> thank you, little dino. We will put it right here in this cannon and shoot it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna shoot it like a slingshot. Oh, this is cool. This also reminds me of Angry Birds a little bit. Oh, this is very precise. Look at that. Let's pop all the green bubbles. Wow. <laughs> Keep going. It looks like if I hit this yellow one, all of them will fall. Awesome. Oh, and the last one. Ah, that was very easy. It was the very first level. Every time he throws a bubble at me, he also has another one. If for some reason I don't want to shoot the one that he threw at me, I can ask him to give me another one by clicking on B. There you go. And now it really takes a little bit of strategy to make sure that you're hitting as many this bubbles of the same color as you can. You just need to hit as close to the core as you can. So, oh, here you go. That was awesome. The sooner you get rid of all the bubbles, the higher score you get. The very first levels are actually very easy. Uh, let's see if I can show you something more challenging. This one has a time limit. So in order to win, I have to clean all the bubbles within one minute. Oh, all right. Get as many bubbles with one shot as you can. Here you go. Just don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> if you have shaky hands, this is going to be a very difficult game for you. Awesome. Oh, and actually you don't even have to aim because no matter where you shoot it, it's going to go straight to the core. Here you go. <laughs> oh well, I was talking a little too much, so I went too slow. Yeah, sure Tatiana, that's the reason. Oh, look at that. The environment has changed. Now instead of on a tropical island, I'm somewhere in the forest, the woodlands. Only 15 shots. Let's see. 
Ah, so every time it rotates, I kind of miss the place that I wanted to shoot it before. If I shoot it behind it, it would actually still stick to the core, but randomly. Ah, here you go, I got something. What does he want? I still haven't figured out why he appears randomly. Can I shoot him? Oh! oh! I didn't know that would happen! Oh my gosh, I got some money! Oh, this would be a good shot. But I don't even see the core, come on! This is not going well. I need yellow! Give me that! Now this should be it. Oh no! So this is the map. As you can see, we are now in the new territory and before we were in this tropical island. So we can't even check some other places. So after level 10, we will go to this desert island and then, oh wow, the volcano island. How many levels are here? There's so much to play here. I think this is a perfect game to introduce someone to VR because it's very static. You just stay in one place and you don't move. You don't have to worry about motion sickness, feel comfortable enough to play. Oh my, this wasn't very good. Oh, so that star, if I hit it, then all the bubbles of the same color will disappear. Watch this. Epic. Now I need blue. Give me blue. All right, so here's my blue. But in order to hit it, I need to hit it from behind. So I can try to shoot this behind it and hope that it will stick to it. Yes! Oh, yes! It worked! Oh my gosh! Cool. Very, very cool. As we're playing, we're making some money and we're collecting some coins that we can use to unlock something. So right now I have 131 and I can unlock hmm, a bomb color thingy and something else. I don't even know what those are, but I know what bomb is and I like it. So we're going to unlock this one. Oh, that's a giant butterfly. All right, um, I think I can hit this red one. All right, let me try this bomb. Oh, okay. oh my, <laughs> oh, it's for me. <laughs> oh my God, this is so stupid. Nice. But it didn't fall. I have one more bomb. Let's try it. So, <laughs> this is so much fun. And I have just a few seconds to do it right. Nice. You also may choose to play the infinite mode. And that's something that I remember playing in the flat screen version where you just have to keep playing until the bubbles get to the very bottom. Let's see how they did it in VR. Ah, so instead of the bubbles going down, they're going to be going up to this portal. Or it actually looks like a black hole or a wormhole, I'm not really sure. Interesting. So does it go up with every shoot that I take? No, it just goes up in real time. All right, so we have no time to waste. Let's go. Cool. Oh, other walls appear. Oh, this is stressful. What's gonna happen when he reaches it? Oh, I see the star. Very cool. Uh-oh. Is it just me or are they going faster? Oh, no, no, no. What? Why did it go so fast? Ah, one more. All right, we saved that one. <laughs> we just keep going. We're unstoppable. Oh, what is that death sign? I better not pop it. Well, I have to hit the death balloon again. Oh no. Oh, 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 he doesn't pass me, no. Oh my God, come on, wake up. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, come on. <gasps> That's it. Only five coins for all that work. Looks like most of the coins that you will make are from the story mode and not from the infinite mode. I find this game so entertaining and it's such a nice refresher to the original game that we all know and love. And I, for one, find it super entertaining and addicting and I hope that you will enjoy playing it as well. I think I've just found my new addicting VR game, which is also a great game to introduce someone into VR. I have been playing this game for two days already and as I move forward, the game gets quite more difficult as the groups of bubbles start rotating faster and it's much more challenging to shoot at the specific spots. I also keep discovering more unique modes like freeing the chicken from the bubbles and bonuses like the rainbow bubbles and power-ups like this rotating orb that allows me to rotate 
coated the entire bubble cloud. The game grows in its complexity the more you play it, and that's what keeps it interesting and different each time you play. And it also must be super fun to challenge your friends or family in the dual mode. Let me know in the comments if you are excited about playing Puzzle Bubble VR Vacation Odyssey and if you have played the original game. I'm curious to know. Remember to participate in the Gleam contest to get a chance to win your Oculus Quest 2. And of course, give this video a like and subscribe to Disco VR if you would like to see more gameplays, reviews, news and other VR goodness. That's it for today. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming!